Sorry, she touched him. What did the crowds do? Don't you wonder about that? What did the crowds do? I don't know about you, but it should have been a mob scene. Holy mackerel landing. Wow. Because the bleeding stopped immediately. And she said, I'm healed. And then what did the crowds, what do you think the crowd did then? What did they do? Oh, man, baby. They rejoiced for her, and then what did they do? I'm going to get a hold of him. I'm going to touch him. Get out of my way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch this Jesus. I'm going to touch him. I'm going to touch him. I want what she has. Come on, touch him. Be deliberate on purpose. There are no accidents, folks. You're not in this church by accident. You're here on purpose. God has a purpose for you to be changed and for you to be healed and for you to grow. That's why you're here and you're not in other, some other place. You're here in this moment right here, right now. And Jesus is here. He is here to heal you. But you've got to be deliberate about it. You've got to believe. And what does Jesus say to that woman? Go in peace. Your faith. Your faith in me has made you well. Wouldn't you want to have that kind of faith this morning, church? Amen. Whatever's going on inside of some of you this morning, you need a healing from it, do you? Are you going to accidentally bump into Jesus here at church from time to time? Or are you going to be delivered about it and intend to say, today's the day. I decide today I'm going to follow Jesus. Today's the day I'm going to be healed. No more excuses. No more worrying about this and worrying about that. No, I'm telling my sad story. No more of that. Twelve years I've been running and running and that. No more. No more living in the cemetery. Amen. Live your life to the fullest. Amen. Live your life to the fullest. Now, I don't know if Jesus shouted quite like that. <laughs> Look what takes place through these scriptures. I love taking the scriptures and following it along. It started with one day, Jesus decided to cross the lake to save the man in the, in the cemetery, number one. Number two, he went to go help Jairus, his daughter, right? Number three, the woman was bleeding. He went to touch her. But most importantly and fourthly, here's what Jesus did and what he's doing this morning. He's here this morning to have you decide today to touch him. To have faith enough in him that he can make your life different, better, more holy, more healthy. You can be complete. You can be at peace. Even when the storm and the wind and the waves rage, having Christ inside of you and the Holy Spirit, you can be at peace, can't you? Can't you? Amen. Listen, when Jesus is standing right in front of you, what are you going to do? 